back to code tonight so uh, in today's video what we will do is we will see how we can generate jwt token in web api and how we will validate that uh, for the next requests so uh, we also have one another video in which we also have showed how to uh, generate jwt token in normal mvc application but uh, in this tutorial we will focus on the apis so uh, here we have a ASP.NET Core application and uh, so first of all what we have to do is I will just uh, stop this application okay so the first thing what we have to do is we have to install some packages for JWT token so uh, this is the package uh, that you have to install in your uh, application okay for JWT authentication and also this package microsoft.aspnetcore.authentication.jwt bearer so this package and this package is what you have to install in your application now going to the controller part so here what we have done is uh, we have created one JWT helper class here and uh, and uh, don't you worry I will provide you the code also so for now we will just see what it will do so here we have this method and it will be used for generating the authentication token and then we have one method that will be used to validate the token okay so going back to the controller here we have this API uh, that is for getting the token you can say login or whatever but uh, here we have just called get a token okay so uh, i will be sending username and password in this class and i will also show you this class so you can see username and password here okay so we will be sending this from the api and then we are checking if, if these are valid credentials or not okay so if these are valid then what we will do is we will just uh, return back the authentication token so uh, here we are passing the email id username and user id for the authentication token and this method again i have showed you earlier in the jwt helper file here okay so uh, what it will do is it will create claims and also uh, add the um, claims into the jwt token okay so that you can get later okay so this is the class and this is the model data that we have here so you can add as many parameter as you want here for like whatever you need the data okay so uh, we will just go back here and i have already put a breakpoint now i will run the application so uh, here we have actually used this static authentication so we are uh, not using any proper database here so here we are just gonna enter this username and password to verify and get the token here you can modify the code as per your requirement so the api is running and here we have the postman to test the api so i have written this username and password okay and uh, this is the uh, url of the api that we are trying to hit so on send we will get to the get token api and here in the user login class uh, i will just show you that we are getting the username and password okay so now here we are verifying the username credentials and you can modify your code here now if those are valid and then we are generating the token key okay so you can see the token here is returned and here we have the token and the other details that you have entered username here okay and there is expiration time and validity over here okay so now this token will be returned from here you can see so here you can see we have returned back the token and username and everything else that we have returned from here okay so now what we have to do is we have to use this in the next apis so uh, we have also one more api here that is the uh, get list api and over this i have added authorize and this attribute over here for which actually mentions that we are using jwt bearer token or for the authentication 
so now uh, for example guys what we can do is we can remove the token once okay so i have not used that token and i am trying to hit the get list api so uh, you will see that it is saying 401 on unauthorized so basically uh, we have not passed any token so it is showing unauthorized now we will go to previous api and we will copy the authentication token from here and we will paste it here in the text box now suppose we just uh, put uh, abc or something extra here which is not valid now we try to send the token again so again it, it will show unauthorized because it is not a valid token okay so now we will again put the correct one and on send now it will get to the debugger because this time it is a valid uh, token okay so uh, now here what you have to do if you want to get any kind of id or something from the token then how we can do that is we can we have to get the uh, authorization header from the request and once you get the authorization header so you can see bearer and the value that we have just entered there so from this we will just get the token part okay this is the token now uh, we will call dot validate token okay so now what it will do is it will also uh, read the token and okay so here it will validate the token so uh, from the validated token you can actually get your claims whichever you have uh, uh, saved at the time of creating the token so i can actually get the username and email that we have uh, saved while creating the token so if you need any kind of user id then you can store in the token and then uh, get back letter like this you can use okay so if you have any kind of confusion in using this then you can comment on the video uh, but if you want the code part then what you can do is you can go to our official uh, website codetonight.com so uh, on this website we have recently uploaded the complete blog jwt token authentication and authorization in web api so you can open up that and you can download the attachment and check out the complete code with the steps here okay so if you have any kind of confusion then you can comment on the video and thanks for watching guys